using saddles and to use the U.S. government instead of the small town. And, you know, you can have President Obama writing in and the town crier saying, the president's a uh, ding dong ding. <laughs> <laughs> but we need, we need a lot of the... We need a lot of the old actors because people don't realize what it is. You know, the Broadcasting Board of Governors is the same thing. They're paving up these towns. They're creating Sandy Hoax. They're creating all of these things to introduce fear into the populace by which to pit citizens and law enforcement against each other. And hopefully we're reaching everybody at the same time because this is horrifying. The last time they did this, what did Congress do? They made, they made Congress made slavery legal and then all of a sudden we're up against law enforcement law enforcement's enforcing those laws killing citizens citizens are pissed off at law enforcement nobody ever saw congress nobody ever saw congress during that time nobody saw congress during the slaughter of the american indians nobody saw congress at any time ever in the past they always saw law enforcement and that's how it's always been we've always 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 repeated history over and over again until now and i'm praying to god that everybody everybody law enforcement citizens everybody he hears us at this point in time because this is what the production is out in nevada at this present time that's what all of that is sheriff mack is a federal agent the tea party is a cia production just like al-qaeda hezbollah all of them those were all CIA productions. The Cold War was produced by the CIA. Syria, produced on the ground by the CIA. Vietnam, CIA. Japan, CIA. Korea, CIA. And all of these treaties are with the United States and whoever to discharge congressional bankruptcy using human being as the product. And enough is enough. Enough is absolutely enough. I mean, this has been like horrifying and, and we've been laughing all day about these new productions and stuff and hopefully citizens and, and law enforcement see right through them for what they are and everybody wakes up at the same time this is terrible yeah i think i think it's a direct instigation i think that it is um uh i think they want a reaction and they're not getting it and i think but it does seem like a cia production when all of a sudden you have uh, the the militia supposedly from um, all over the United States now uh, planning to uh, come in mass and and already those who have shown up and um, Alex Jones is there with uh, Infowars the media is getting it that the alternative media I've seen maybe six reports from uh, the Alex Jones on the ground people. Uh, today that they're keeping you constant. It's just like the regular news media, you know. Uh, that's one way that alternative news has really made inroads is that uh, there are those stations out there that, that uh, go the little extra mile. Of course, they have a lot of money, but but at least we have those quality, uh, those the ability to produce quality, you know, uh, because for a long time the truthers have been just kept down simply because we only had what was at our disposal as, as average uh, people uh, to do things with, you know. And uh, now the, the, the truth has come out, so much information has come out, so many more people are starting to listen and pay attention that uh, we're, we're uh, I think we're doing good. I, I think that the more that, that we can support each other, the more that we can get out there, um, I think the more that we can turn this around, the last thing that we need is for the media to start making this, uh, the alternative media to start making this like the mainstream media, a celebrity event or a, uh, you know, a circus event. Absolutely. And, and that's how Jesus is crucified, through entertainment value. We are here as these changing times, at these changing times, to change everything. We're not going to repeat history. We're not pit up against each other. We're not entertained by the slaughter of citizens. We're not entertained by Congress taking away the rights of gay people. We're not entertained by Congress taking away the rights of black people. We're not entertained by the Congress taking the rights of law enforcement. Just now there was a terrorist, domestic terrorist down in uh, Kentucky. A sheriff arrested a judge 
for altering the public record, for perverting the course of justice, for corrupt activity. And what happened? This attorney in the black dress turned right around and sued the sheriff in his own court with his own cronies for $5 million. Now, how is that law enforcement? How is that any form of law? And that judge will be held accountable by the United States, by the way. See, these sheriffs are not going to be terrorized anymore. These law enforcement are not going to be terrorized by corporate counsel anymore. They are not going to be subjugated. They are not going to be falsely accused. They are not going to be killed at the behest of corporate counsel. Neither are citizens. Now, the mainstream media, CNN, NBC, which is a national broadcasting corporation, CBS is a corporate broadcasting station, those are corporate bodies run by and maintained by the Broadcasting Board of Governors, the CIA itself. This is Senator Dianne Feinstein, Hatch, this is Harry Reid, this is Al Franken on the Senate Intelligence Committee, the Senate Judiciary Committee, sorry. These are the folks that pocket all of these dollars at human expense. These are the folks that promote these intelligence productions, facilitating artificial intelligence. What you see in the mainstream is called AI. And you can read about this in the Church Committee Reports, Book 4, um, Supplementary Detailed Staff Reports on Foreign and Military Intelligence. I also read that. It's on my YouTube channel, uh, Tammy K32, on YouTube. And um, these things, it's, it's all in there. Book 2. Book 2 was all about how the FBI terrorized Dr. Martin Luther King. And in the end, because they couldn't vilify Dr. King, what did they have to do? They had to assassinate him because he knew what they were doing. He was speaking out on behalf of all of humanity. And yes, just recently, Al Sharpton came out as the FBI. Southern Poverty Law Center came out as a domestic terror cell and was dropped by the FBI because they wanted to clean their hands of all of those attorneys that had been fear-mongering that are promoting nothing but fear porn by which to promote civil war. Now to all of the communities listening right now and the federal agents and national states listening right now, anybody who privately funds the federal government at any point in time, election campaigns or anything other than that, any kind of funding is aiding and abetting the known enemy of mankind. Their funding has been dropped through the IMF last March. They lost their uh, um, treasury rights in October of 2013. They're done. Now they're living on fumes. They're living on foreclosures, such as what you're seeing in Nevada right now. This is the federal state raising the national state to, to garner funding because that's what happens. Now they have to uh, cash out at the clerk's office there in that county. This is Reed. This is Senator Reed on the Senate Intelligence Committee promoting this intelligence production for you to be pit up against law enforcement and citizens alike. This is the federal agents acting at the behest of Congress, their handler, as a military force against humanity. These are acts of war. These are not Insured, by the way, for all of these municipal corporations and all of these national corporations, holding co corporations, you are not covered under your cover hold insurance for acts of war or civil war risks. Every time, every time you promote black rights, white rights, male rights, female rights, uh, gay rights, straight rights, any promotion of disparity, is against the law. That is promote, promoting and provoking, implicating civil war risks. You are pitting humanity up against itself and you will be held accountable for these things. Period. This is stemming from uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, 14th Amendment. He made the corporation a living being called a person. That living being was insured through life insurance accounts, through commission, 
and the human being has been used and subjugated to maintain these corporations on corporate welfare since 1933 at the bankruptcy of those corporations. This ends now. I'm sorry for going on my rant, Patty. I just, it makes me sick. It makes me sick. But I want to thank all of our listeners for keeping us on the air. We are listener supported. And so we, we, we only run on donations. We're not corporate funded. We are not federally funded. That means that we bring you the truth, right? I mean, Charles is here. We've got Snowhawk tonight and also Rav. And, um, you know, I want to go into detail about what we have to offer. Uh, what we do here at these changing times and what we're bringing to the table so that you can know the truth well, I agree Tammy and, and uh, I never get tired of your rants because uh, we need to be reminded that we're not in this uh, as as their charge they're not in it to, uh, to take care of us they're in it to take care of the corporation uh, and, and this is a global corporation. It's not uh, just here in the United States. Uh, it is probably orchestrated uh, from here because, uh, let's face it, uh, they have the biggest guns here. And uh, they use them. And like you were saying, Tim, I just have to agree that, that they pit the police against the people. They make the people the, the new enemy. Uh, they have the police to fear the people and animosity between the two. And th this is built over decade, over decade, over decade uh, by the court systems themselves that cycle the, the criminal aspect through uh, revolving doors while, while locking up uh, those who, who have the, the minorest of, of infractions. You know, this is uh, the cops feel frustrated because uh, they they arrest them, they, they take them to court, and uh, next next week they're out on bail again, you know, they're on the streets or whatever, and this has been going and going and going, and then they're filling their minds with, with uh, the Oklahoma City bombing and how the, the Americans are becoming militant, da-da, 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 but this has been uh, a decade long, decades long uh, manipulation, and, and uh, it's not something you invest in without knowing that you've got a really good run at the end of it. And uh, we are what stands between them and their end game. We're the only thing that stands between them, you know? Absolutely. And, and you know, it's not us becoming militarized either. I've been watching this Tea Party crap. That's a CIA presentation. I've been watching the Oath Keepers. That's a CIA presentation. And what they do is they garner the citizen, and then they false flag them. They stand there and say, yeah, I'm just like that guy, hardy har. They're the ones who are showing up and blowing people away. They're the ones who are showing up at these par participation meetings. They're the ones that are showing up at these uh, Delphi creations. And that's what we have to avoid, these false flag tactics. The FBI came out in 2012 and said, hey, look, we're uh, the Muslim extremists. We infiltrate groups of, of uh, Muslims and, and other religious sects, and we promote this agenda. And then the CIA came in and said, we're the underwear bomber. That was us. Okay, so we're promoting fear. And then later, if we tell you about it, we've told you about it, that, has, that maintains me with clean hands. I don't have to worry about anything now because you know. But yet, we're still playing on that same fear. We're still playing on 9-11. We're still playing on all of these things. When is the FBI and the CIA doing these things? Now, was President Bush or any member of Congress charged for bringing down the World Trade Center? Absolutely not. Were they charged for the Oklahoma City bombing? No. That wasn't a citizen. Now... I watched this week as North Korea, Kim Jong-un, he just executed by fire a CIA agent because the CIA was trying to infiltrate and nationalize the, the uh, North Korea. Now, North Korea, the Republic of Korea, has treaties with the United States Incorporated since 1953. That's what you know as the Gambling Commission. Everybody wants to know where the, the rights went to the Indians. They grandfathered everybody out years ago. 
years ago. They said, well, you can live on this land as long as you stay pure and Indian and stuff. And then they came in with these sexist laws and they said, oh boy, and, and racist laws. And they said, you know what? You got to put some white people in there because you guys are all racist. And what happened? They grandfathered all of the Indians off those lands. Who has the casinos now? It's not the Indians. It's North Korea. This is a, uh, it's called capacity building project. Territories means stolen estates. Real estate means the human body. Those are the territories that were attacked. Those are the territories that are owned by the United States Incorporated. They don't have any land. They require the consent of the governed to maintain the illusion that there's land since 1802 with the Indemnification Convention. They indemnified, indemnified humanity to pay their debts. And they did it the first time in the Articles of Confederation, Article 12. They pledged and charged the United States of being to offset, discharge congressional bankruptcy. And anybody who wants to look at this from the first-hand perspective, go to 28 U.S.C. subsection 453 and read the judicial oath. They have an oath to Congress to discharge congressional bankruptcy using you, the human product, through the court process. This is why you're going through divorce. This is why the attorneys are pitting you and your wife. This is why the attorneys are on the ground making you fight. This is why the attorneys are making laws that, that reserve the rights over one individual, feminism, masculism, Zionism, Islamism, environmentalism, corporatism, individualism. Those are reservation of rights. That makes you hate your brother. This is the same, same exact Satan as written in the story of Job in the, in the Bible. Human beings have been Job for so long at not realizing who Satan is. Satan is an turn. To a turn means to pay homage to another Lord God. They do not have the same God as you. They do not have the same humanity as you. They're psychopaths. They don't have a frontal lobe. They have no human compassion, absolutely no empathy for humanity, and only, only, only see you as numbers, as objects, as things to count that are great for corporate welfare. Bad for humanity, great for politics. Since the 1980s, they've been calling humanity politically correct. Politically correct because we bought into all of this. We all thought that people were sexist. When I didn't have the right to vote, Congress, Congress, Congress made it illegal for me to vote. When the black person had to sit at the back of the bus, that was Congress, your lawmakers, the people you choose to represent you. When there was slavery, that was Congress. When we're burning witches, that's Congress. When we're terrorizing Syrian citizens, when we're terrorizing the Ukraine, that's Congress. The Russian Confederation is in the perpetual union maintained by the United States of America, which is a style or chain of events maintained by Congress. The Russian Confederation is the same confederacy as Congress. It's a perpetual union. Everybody's acting on acts of enablement. Here we have this state constitution. Then we have the United Nations Charter. We have all of these things enabling them to act under federal mandate. The world courts are owned by Congress. The Human Rights Commission is also the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Union under Congress. These things are all these smoke and mirrors, and we think everybody's going to help us. There's nobody going to help us. It's you. It's up to you, God. It's up to you. It's up to all of us to stand now and not be pit against each other. That's the requirement of genocide. Genocide can only occur if there's allowance of dehumanization, if there's allowance of separation, if there's allowance of classification. Rich and poor and black and white, red and yellow. All of these things are concepts. What did it say in Genesis? It said you've been partaking or eating from the tree of knowledge. A tree of knowledge only bears concepts. You're buying concepts from the law merchant. That means that we are the whore of Babel. We've been fornicating with the Lord God. We've been giving it our bodies, buying this crap from him for so long, and it's time to stop buying those things. It says expressly in Genesis, 
which is a biogenesis away from my life, mind, and soul. In Genesis, it said, if you eat of the tree of knowledge now, you're going to experience death. We've been civilly dead. They're claiming our estates and calling us felons. That's civil death, according to Black's Law Dictionary. This is all the smoke and mirrors. Congress, the House of Representatives, is the same house as the House of Gown. The Gown Housing Charter says, hey, we can put on a production and tell them anything we want to because their memories are really short. And we have a lot of time and we have a lot of money and we've got the media under our thumb. And they're going to forget what happened today, tomorrow. And they founded all of this, just founded this, based on the premise that all of humanity is going to buy these con concepts and that's all it took to kill us we've been dead we've been hating each other dehumanized classified keeping up with the Joneses climbing ladders of success without realizing the plight of our own neighbors half the time people don't even know their neighbors names anymore everybody's well, in taught, yeah they're taught that their neighbor uh, it's better to blame the neighbor for the sky falling than to blame yourself you know right uh, for, for the things you aren't doing we've been taught that well yes uh, we were watching that this week um somebody was talking about they got a parking ticket and um she was so mad about the parking ticket she's like i got a 52 dollar parking ticket and and my car they said my car was parked too close to the drive and then immediately she says what about my neighbor he's got 10 cars that's an informant. That's what they required in Nazi Germany for you guys to walk each other into the gas chambers. To walk each other in front of the firing squads. Oh, that guy has 10 cars. He's worse than me. Wait a second. That's not even a crime for you to park on the street. Stop buying into these things and stop pointing out your neighbors. Stop being that informant. That's how everybody was walked into those gas chambers. That's how everybody's walked into prison settings or institutionalized states. Everybody's informing on each other to be good girls and good boys. Hotlining 911 and CPS and Crime Stoppers. For what? Benefits? Isn't that the action of Judas? He gets a bag of silver? You get a welfare check or a social security check? Or you get your uh, foster care payments for taking somebody's kids off of them? That's Judas. That's Judas. Tabby, the way I look at it also, you know, that uh, to all Americans, I don't care, you know, all my brothers and sisters on America, you know, as far as Turtle Island is concerned, America side, eh, Canada, uh, we're all on the res now because of that. Absolutely. And, and what they did was they pit us against each other. It's all of our lands. Congress never owned any land. In 1802, they came in and said, oh, we're going to donate 200,000 acres apiece to each of these churches because we're the good guys. Congress didn't have that land to donate to the churches and colleges. That split everything up into districts. And regionally, you've been just raised by these bishops now under the premise of religious indoctrination. It has nothing to do with Christ or Christianity. It has nothing to do with anything that you believe is a religious belief. It has everything to do with corporate welfare. Making sure that those corporations never go hungry. And, and anybody can read this. It's called the First and Second Welfare Theorem. It's a very, very dry read. Lots and lots of numbers in there. But in there it describes us, human beings, as garbage. Garbage. And that we can be disposed of. Hey, doesn't it, uh... I'm sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> My rap, I wanted to... It was, a good, it was a good point, too, and I just lost it. Yep. I'll be back with it. NSA stole his thoughts. <laughs> it's, it's just been so... So horrifying that we could get to this point in time and be so bamboozled, to be so railroaded, to be in this situation, for everybody to be classified. And first it was the white people attacking the Indians because of Congress. 
And then it was the black people attacking, white people attacking Indians because of Congress. And now Muslims and Israelis and Ukrainians and Crimeans and Russians were all attacking each other on the basis of promoting war for Congress. Congress. Con. It's still that way right now, too. Absolutely. The uh, only thing you got to do is look at the uh, police officer in, in Seattle that shot the elder in the back. Yeah, and, and a lot of these times, and, and, and you have to realize what happens at those calls, and I've got tons and tons of those calls, and you can find those on my YouTube channel. Now, these cops are on the phone with dispatch in their ear constantly. And as they're going out to a call, they're being told, that guy's armed and dangerous, that guy's a rapist, that guy's a murderer. And all they have to do is say, oopsie, later. But the cop is the one that's getting the brunt of it. Law enforcement is being directed by psychiatry. And they've got corporate counsel in the ear of dispatch, making sure that this is produced the way that corporate counsel needs it produced. Right, but but all in all, when it comes down to it, Tammy, there is self-responsibility. Um, and when you know that the actions that, that you're taking, uh, when you know for a fact the actions that you t you're taking are not, uh, uh, in effect, uh, going, are needed, uh, like in the camper in Nevada. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that, that on these 911 calls, when they do call, they're with the dispatcher and the dispatcher is telling them what they're being told, um, that, that I understand it's, it's a, uh, they have to think in the minute and there might be some actions, but there have been other incidences to where they have gone to the wrong house, uh, and, and shot up the, the people. They went in and, and killed a veteran, um, uh, shot him. Uh, with a SWAT team at the, and it was the wrong address. Uh, things like this have happened. There are, there is a militant side of the police force that is more than willing to go along with this uh, genocide against their own people. Absolutely. Um, and what we've found is those actors are usually the detectives. They're federally trained through Quantico. The, the basic law enforcement officer is trained at law enforcement school. They only know law enforcement. Uh, they're trained with somewhat uh, constitutional theory. They get a couple books of constitutional theory and, and the rest is law enforcement. They believe that they're protecting humanity, but their directors, their directors above them, taking them to the wrong house when corporate counsel needs a veteran killed, that's their directors, that's FBI. They're trained at Quantico. Detectives, computer experts, these types of folks are all FBI. They're federal agents trained at Quantico. And we need to always distinguish between the two. Now, when you look at law enforcement, the judiciary, it was back in 2000, I believe it was, the judge came in, federal judge came in and said, oh, we're going to require, require low IQs for all law enforcement. And they require the low IQ for law enforcement so that they can be manipulated. And if you look at their backgrounds, what are they from? Single mother households. They grow up, they're looking for a daddy. They go off into the military, come home, get crapped on. They go into law enforcement because it's, it's like a funnel technique. That's all they can do when they get out of the military. Because they're vilified by their own country. They're vilified and called nuts. They're vilified and called this or that. Well, today I was talking to law enforcement again, and he's like, yeah, this guy, you know, I really like this guy. Now, this guy's a federal agent. And he says, you know what? He strokes my ego. He tells me I'm a good boy. That's why they're staying there. That's why they're in those situations. And we're required to protect them. They, they grew up being hurt. They grew up being raised by the same corporation that's using them now. And it's the same with the citizen that's patronizing these things. You know, we well, it's, have the same, it's the same with every, every citizen that, that uh, supports this machine. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It, it, it all comes down to there is another law. Uh, a higher law, one that supersedes anything written on paper, um, and and that is our law. That's the people's law, uh, and and uh, it's called common law in some areas. The most recent, I guess, terminology would be for it. Uh, but but that law in itself is still in effect. People don't realize it that there is still such a thing 
as common law. They think that the only thing that they have now is is when they go to Tuesday night court or, or whatever night it is, uh, or whenever they're summoned, you know, uh, that those courts are indeed uh, the only courts there are. And it's not true, is it? Absolutely not. And we have to realize common law, too. Common law is used... Um, in the place of ni- since 1938 with sorry diseases. Case law and common law is deferring to what's uh, been made common through the ju- judiciary. So instead of using evidence on the court record, they're saying, well, we decided this time la- this way last time, so we're going to decide this way again. And the law enforcement, now, when they come in and they have all of this evidence and they arrest somebody, they have to talk to corporate counsel, they have to talk to the district attorney, all of these things, and they're shuffling this evidence around. But the law enforcement have no idea. Okay, this week we were we were evidencing these things for law enforcement as well. And the saddest part is since 1938, started to cease these attorneys take that evidence and they say, well, that one, we can't use that one because it's protected under the Violence Against Women Act. We can't use that because it's protected under the privacy law of the children, uh, Crimes Against Children Act or CACA. And what they're doing is they're shuffling all of the evidence off of court record. Well, then the, the sheeple, the citizens are the worst raised by this process because they're taught to go to a grand jury and have a jury trial. It's the same attorney sweeping evidence off of the court record. So they hand the jury what evidence they want it to see. And what is that? That's the same intelligence production that we're seeing now in Nevada. The same evidence that we're seeing now in Nevada. Now they're showing one show. They're not showing that this is a federal state raising the national state. That draws an easement through that property, through that whole county, and says the federal government owns it again. Although the federal government donated it to the national states back in 1802, starting in 1802 with the um, state constitutions or acts of enablement. And what they do is constantly, they just burn it to the ground. That allows industrialization. Congress is raking it in, raking it in 90%. They've been embezzling 90% of everything, first from the Treasury and then from the national state. And then they hammer on the national state and say, where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? And this is the federal state. This isn't just one guy with a a tire iron, iron in his hand threatening to bust your kneecaps. This is the IRS. This is the FBI threatening the oh, boss shooting caps. Um, hopefully you're still with us and the call is still going through, but we cannot hear you talking. Hey, Go ahead, let me Brent. throw this out there since I finally remembered what it was. Well, now Tammy's not, Tammy's not going to be here for you to tell her. Uh, well, she already knows what I'm going to say. This is more for the listeners. And it goes along with what she was saying. And if you remember the Mercury Dimes... If you're old enough to remember silver coins or go look up a mercury dime and look on the back side of the mercury dime and it has what at first appears to be a pillar with an axe bound to the front of it. Well, it's actually a bundle of sticks and yes, it's an axe that's bound to the front of it and that's called the fasci. And the fasci is what they have on either side of the podium in Congress. And... and the fasci symbolizes fascism, which is the marriage of state and corporate powers, which is exactly what we have right now, is fascism. And they told us all the way back then, they put it right on the dime coin. And Mercury, remember this, Mercury was who? The messenger of the gods. So they were telling us right there. Yeah, and interesting, huh? Yeah, it is very interesting. I mean, when you put it all together, you, you know, we grew up seeing these things and we never even thought twice about it. You know, as kids and all, uh, you don't pay any attention to this. And if you don't know the history that was passed down, uh, if you don't know these things, uh, then and, and think of how many kids don't know this, Rab, and will grow up not knowing that, and, and will think that, that uh, they're not, they won't understand the symbolism. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that if things keep going the way we are yep. in the militant yeah. society, yeah. yeah, you know that that well, 1984 let, let is for, nothing. Let me, let me think for yeah. Let, let me let me think for a minute here. What was the first year of the Mercury Dime? Hmm. 1913, I think. 
Oh, hey, wasn't that the year they passed the Federal Reserve Act? Well, yeah. technically Christmas, but, you know, 1913, 1914. I'm trying to remember what was the first year of the Mercury Dime. It might be 1914. Odd coincidence, though, huh? Yeah, it's one of those co-inky dinks. Uh, yeah. We are really having problems trying to get Tammy back on. Um, I'm going to see her, her computer maybe froze up or something. Uh, does anybody else have anything they want to talk about, though, while I try to get her back on, or do you want to go to a song break? Well, uh, one of the things care. I just found out, you know, just uh, earlier, is that there's several militias that are on their way as far as uh, what's going on in Nevada yep. to help out this rancher. Apparently 5,000. One, uh, uh, one of the militia groups are from my state. So I, uh, I heard five. I heard five. Well, I'm not saying that I would call myself honorable. I'm just saying that at some point, we have to do something that is going to make them realize and understand that what they're doing to us it is eventually going to happen to them. If they are killing us, then they're eventually going to end up being murdered because what goes around comes around. I mean, that's where that's where I'm coming from. You if I have there? to become a psychopathic murderer just in order to achieve peace, then I'm going to blow my own brains out. And, and they did the same thing know. during Nazi Germany. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Sorry, Tammy. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to bring out the best in each other. <laughs> something. I've wanted to meet you for a long time. I've heard lots about you, but I've never had a chance to talk to you before. Oh, and I'm glad to have you on. I'm glad you're here tonight. I mean, it's just, it, it's been so heated this week, you know, and, and then coming back and listening to Rob, I mean, it's, it's beautiful to hear, you know, li we, we're not allowed to leave any lost sheep. And I know what you're saying, what comes around goes around or what goes around comes around. But when you go back to Nazi Germany, it was the Bayer Corporation, the Bayer Corporation that came in, the company at Churzow, through the world courts, which is Congress, it came in and indemnified Poland as the Republic, Republic of Germany. Now, Germany didn't nationalize until 1933. Guess what year that was? The same year as the bankruptcy of Congress. When Congress came in as a trustee of its own bankruptcy. And guess what happened? They, did, they took all the overhead. Now, when you look at the research on a citizen, citizens always produce. They always buy into, I'm a female, I have rights, feminism. I'm a male, I have rights, masculism. So they always make money through the courts, through the legal process. Overhead is always the law enforcement. Overhead is always the teacher. Overhead is always the scientist. Overhead is state and federal employee. Now, if you have a corporation that has a bunch of overhead, what do you do? You perpetrate the, the most heinous things upon humanity and your own law enforcement, your own teachers, your own scientists, before you commit political suicide. Now, Orrin Hatch is up there. Diane Feinstein. Diane Feinstein. That is my absolute nemesis. That feminist, psychopathic hypocrite sits on the Senate Intelligence Committee and tells you, the sheeple, that the NSA is spying on her. The NSA, the National Security Agency, is under the CIA. Who's the director of the CIA? Diane Feinstein. Now here's a psychopath. Psychopath. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. You know, it's okay. We have to spy on the people, but oh my God, they spied on me. That's just wrong. That's wrong. That's well, shut up. You violated my rights. Guess what yeah. that is, though. <laughs> Guess what that is. Guess what that is. That's the burning down of the Reichstag. The Hitler did. 
1933. That's the same I thing. Have, I have a quick yeah. question for you, Danny. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to know when the first mercury dimes were produced? Was it 1914? In between 1913 and 17. I'm not exactly sure what year, but I know it was between 13 and 17. And, and they put a tax on it. They put a tax on all of the coinage. Now, lawful money is 99.99% .99 pure gold and pure silver. That is lawful money. When they come in and they start making 90% silver dimes, 90% silver dollars, 90% quarters, those things are being taxed. You have just been embezzled from... Because you're paying a dime for those things, right? You're paying the lawful, the, the lawful amount of silver for those things. Then oh, the, the horrifying, horrifying things that they did in 1933. They came in as the trustees over their own bankruptcy, and the attorneys, the attorneys came in under the Emergency Banking Act and took an oath under 12 U.S.C. subsection 73 saying they are not hypothecated. Guess what? You are. Now, what they did was they said, we have a government. It's the Bar Association. I have a government. I'm not a prisoner of war because I'm not lost. The 1929 Geneva Convention said, just in case, just in case, you know, this is 1929, just in case, if there's ever any prisoners of war, we corporations are going to save them. And we're going to put them in holding corporations. And these same corporations, they turned around four years later and said, Oh my goodness, we're bankrupt. They are still patronizing me. We have to pick them up as whole prisoners of war. That's what the United States Incorporated did to all of humanity globally. In 1941, President Roosevelt and Prime Minister Winston Churchill came in with the Atlantic Charter, and they said, Congress is going to be the new world order. 1945, the United Nations Charter established a new bank. A charter document is a, is a creation of a bank. Articles of agreement are articles of incorporation. And this corporation, the United States Incorporated, is Google. Microsoft, Arizona, California, North Korea, Vietnam, Japan, China, Ukraine, Russian Confederation, Syria, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Colombia. And the United States Incorporated makes money by human trafficking and perpetrating genocide against all of humankind by simply pitting us against each other. Your neighbor doesn't make as much money as you. He's classified differently. You don't have a house as nice as the Joneses across the street. You're black. You're white. You're female. You're male. You're Christian. You're Muslim. You're Jew. You're Aboriginal. You're Indian. All of these things Congress has been forcing and imposing and teaching these concepts to humankind by which to pit and polarize them against each other in a perpetual civil war, a raising of humankind. And we're buying into these things. We're saying, I don't have my rights. Blame my neighbor. No, it's Congress. I can't afford my medicine. It's, it's the doctor's fault. No, it's Congress. My kids just got taken off of me by CPS. It's Congress. They're discharging their, your bankruptcy by taking your children off of you where you get to buy them back by court process. They take your mothers and fathers through adult protection, which is the same IRS as the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. It generates money, revenue, by kidnapping you and holding you hostage. You're buying each other. 
you're buying your loved ones. And you're allowing a bank to charge predators for use of your body. When a court charges somebody for preying on a child and gives them two days in jail or, or um, time at home with a, with a bracelet on. They're charging rent on your children. That's called prostitution. It's not called court. That judge is a pimp. Those attorneys are human trafficking. These things are horrifying. These are aberrations of God. You are God. Somebody taught you that you were not so that they could t hold it over your heads and teach you all of these things. It says in Genesis, in the, in the Greek translation, God took up concepts. You clapped it night and day. That says you took night and day as a concept. Science. Somebody taught you those concepts. Those are the things that come off of the tree of knowledge. The tree of knowledge has fruit on it called concepts. And if you eat it, it kills you. You're dead when you're pit up against each other, when you hate each other and you can consent to killing each other. When you pay for killing each other. When you can look at somebody else and say that they, they're not, they're, they don't have good manners. That's not good etiquette to sit that way. What kind of shoes are those? You know why you're buying those shoes? Because somebody told you you were naked in the garden. And if you go to the United States Constitution, you can read all about God. 1 Corinthians 6. It says, 1 Corinthians 6, God raised up the Lord God, so shall he raise up by his own power, us up by his own power. And what does it say in the Constitution? Powers vested in Congress. You raised it up. You've been patronizing it. And the Horror Babel? That's all of us. 1 Corinthians 6 again. The body is not for fornication, but for the Lord God. Hey, it says right there, you can't fornicate unless you're giving your body over to somebody else. If you're letting Congress trick you out, if you're letting a court trick you out, if you're registering for a license, purchasing marriage licenses, renting each other, purchasing a marriage license for Christ's sake, and the priest tells you, you may now kiss the bride. Uh, it just told you that you can use his product. This is all prostitution. Human trafficking and genocide. And it's absolutely, absolutely disgusting and horrifying. And we're here because of this. We're here to protect each other. We love each other. Patty says she's back. Hi, Patty. Sorry for going on that rant again. I just get so angry. I, I can't stop. It's just like, I, I, I want everybody to know what's going on. I want everybody to be living. Right now, everybody's pretending to be. 